Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Happy New Year! I hope everyone has a happy, healthy, and safe New Year's Eve 2023 and a fantastic year. I hope we can finally start climbing out of this bear market. I know it's only been a few months since Ethereum turned proof of stake and we had to turn a lot of our rigs off. But there's great news. I've actually been working on some new ways, some new methods on how I can mine more efficiently and profitably on my GPU and ASIC rigs, and I plan to share them with you very soon. I have some new features in NiceHash I've been able to unlock, and I have a lot of great new content lined up. And kicking, speaking of new content, today I want to introduce a new update. Locotech is actually looking at creating a USB script ASIC miner. So, but before I get into that, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I really put a lot of hard work and heart effort into my videos to bring you some unique content. And as a miner, I hope it helps you and helps you get your rigs back on too. And you subscribing is what really motivates me. So together, let's make 2023 epic. Before I begin discussing this new USB miner that Locotech is looking to create, let me give you a little bit of a background on Locotech. Locotech is based in Norway. They were actually one of the speakers at the Litecoin Summit of 2022. They were a speaker and a sponsor there. And that's when they kind of introduced some of their products. And I'll put a link down below if you case you want to look at that. But really to get a more complete picture, I just suggest you watch my original video. About two weeks ago, I premiered their Hashblade miner, which it's looking uh, very optimistic as far as its efficiency and form factor. It's actually about five times more efficient than the latest generation of the Bitmain L7 miners. And the form factor, though, too, is incredible because it's actually going to be a PCIe slot that you can plug right into a home computer or even if you have an open air rig. I could actually picture stacking a bunch of these, maybe even in an octo miner. The possibilities are pretty endless, though. And just I love the ability to reuse existing hardware like this to be able to, you know, have a miner that would be profitable. It kind of cuts down on our cost on buying a miner as well as even their cost on producing it. Although I'm very excited about the performance and form factor of these new Locotech miners, I also have my reservations and doubts like many of you would. See, I haven't seen one of these miners demonstrated to me in person yet. However, that's one of the great parts is because it's my understanding we'll be seeing a demonstration unit of this towards the end of Q1 2023. So that's only a few months away. So I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. Now, keep in mind, too, that this is not a step or a jump forward. This is a huge leap forward in mining on script because we're talking about five times the performance that we've seen from even the latest versions of the Bitmain miners. So, of course, everyone would have their reservations on it. But doing my own research on the company, I had some questions on some of you know what their directions were or what they were doing. And when I reached out to Locotech, I was put directly in touch with their founders. And it kind of gave me a lot of comfort, too, that they were very receptive and very transparent to give me direct answers to a lot of things very, very quickly. So I'm willing to wait it out and, you know, hope that we'll be seeing this mine at the end of Q1 uh, 2023. And the best part is, is I was told I'll be actually getting one of their very first miners that they produced and I'll be able to demonstrate it right here live. In addition to the Hashblade, which will be Locotech's premier script miner they're looking to create a usb miner and this will be the locotech usb script asic and the informal or the draft specifications that they told me that they would be looking at or targeting would be somewhere around 78 mega hash at about six and a half to seven watts again these specifications are only draft so they're still kind of examining it it's not confirmed they're going to be making it yet and this is going to be using the same technology that they're using on their hash blade. However, being a smaller form factor and using a small number of ASICs, it's going to have a lower cost. So it's going to be a lower barrier of entry. What is the cost? Unfortunately, I don't know the details of the cost yet. I was just told there too. They like to try to keep their products at about a year ROI or less. But again, I don't know what price point this will be introduced at if it's even introduced. Strip mining on USB ASICs is not new. And that's actually kind of cool because if I look to this, some other companies have done it in the past, future bit. Although these miners are very old and outdated, they're not profitable anymore. 
is when the Moonlander 2, it just kind of paints a visual. Maybe what one of these local tech sticks would look like. I really have no idea. I don't have any visual information about it. But this miner, this is going back about 2017. So it's about five, six years ago. This is already end of life. But this little miner was 5 mega hash with under 10 watts of power. So, wow, that's a big difference. Look, I guess we've come a long way from 5 mega hash at 10 watts power. If we could get something around 78 mega hash and 7 watts of power, that would be pretty attractive to me. And other people have used these too, and I even see them too. If I look at eBay, they put them in, they stack them together in USB hubs, and they're pretty cool. Ironically too, my wife's seen me looking at these, and she knows I'm into getting different mining hardware. So she actually bought me one of these little Moonlander 2s. So you can see it here. Let me actually take it out of the box. It's just kind of cool to be able to see it and play with it firsthand. And I don't know, maybe I'll make a video on it. But it's just kind of cool because you plug this in a USB hub and then you have a mini ASIC miner. I mean, to me, that that's absolutely wicked. And although this was not very, I guess, cost effective approach because this is definitely not a profitable miner. Something like I could imagine, though, too, uh, maybe what this Locotech would look like. It just kind of maybe give me some visual. Maybe I'm just kind of being optimistic of what it may be, but I'm really looking forward to it. And if I want to plug in the specs to really see how does this miner perform, if I say 78 mega hash at about 7 watts, and the current time of recording is December 31st of 2022, with a 10 cent cost of electricity, it would be making, wow, it's actually up on doing uh, merge mining of DGB and Doge. 21 cents a day would be the daily revenue. Only 2 cents a day is the power cost. That's fantastic. And leaving me about 19 cents. When I was calculating it a little bit earlier, I seen it was down about 16, 17 cents. Uh, so, you know, that may be up a little bit higher than right now. But the market's always changing, so you got to watch. But what's great about something like with one of these miners is even if you have very high cost electricity, maybe you're in like Europe or something, maybe you even have like 35 cents is your electricity cost, kilowatt hour, which gosh, I couldn't imagine that. But a miner like this will still only use about six cents a day in electricity, still leaving you at about 14, 15 cents a day profit. So I think if you had something like this, I think it becomes extremely attractive to a lot of people because it has a much lower barrier to entry compared to buying a miner like the hash blade and still much lower than buying like a L7 or something else like that. And I just think it's performing. So I think it would be able to be used by a lot more people, whether they're entry miners or even seasoned people like me. I would love to put, if I had a bunch of uh, little local tech USB sticks, heck, sure, I'll have a USB hub and I'll stick them in there too. Uh, but of course, I plan to be targeting primarily to the hash blade. And I'd love to be able to maybe stick a whole bunch of them within an OXO miner. So I hope that'll be a future video maybe by uh, before the end of next year. So I'd love to know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on Locotech if they start producing these USB sticks for, I guess, uh, for general miners to be able to purchase, especially if they could do this efficiency at this wattage. I'd love to know your thoughts. So please drop a comment down below. And I know sometimes, too, the team over at Locotech, they do look over at the comments, too, just for some insight to what people think or what's going on with it. So definitely, if you have any questions about it, put it down in, uh, in my comments section and maybe you'll get a response from them. And if I bundle up and if I get enough response, maybe I can maybe put together a special video, maybe hosting even with some of the team over at Locotech. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a very happy, healthy and safe new year. And let's make 2023 epic. Until next time, stay safe. I'll see you in the next year.